Hey guys, what's up? It's Eric with Advanced Level Automotive. I just wanted to make a real quick video about this 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan that I have here at the shop. A uh, customer brought it in yesterday. His complaint was that the brake pedal would go all the way to the floor and it would just take a while to stop. So um, the customer actually already attempted uh, some repairs, but they haven't really fixed the problem. So the first thing he tried to do was replace the master cylinder. Uh, it didn't fix the problem. He bled the system, uh, it didn't fix the problem. He uh, resorted to replacing the ABS hydraulic unit, which again, it didn't fix the problem. Uh, so he brought it to me. So anyways, this thing actually uh, did kick my butt a little bit. It took me a little longer than you know usual to figure out what was going on with this thing. But uh, anyways, so I knew that we were having a problem with uh, the pressure uh, either bleeding off or air in the system so the first thing i tried to do was uh, bleed the system and we tried to bleed it using the scan tool um, we bled it manually first but then we also bled it again using the scan tool because there is a function uh, in the scan tool for this where you activate the abs pump and it bleeds the you know the air out of the system using the abs pump uh, anyways we did that and it still did not fix the problem I kind of went around in circles with this thing. I checked the brake hoses, checked the brake lines, looked for brake fluid leaks, couldn't find anything. So I actually resorted to um, looking on IATN, which is an online forum for technicians. Uh, if, if you're a technician and you're not a part of IATN, I really recommend getting on there, signing up. You know, it's like 20 bucks a month for the basic uh, uh, membership. But uh, there's so much useful information on there and there's stuff that's over the years has helped me out tremendously. Anyways, I found an article on IATN that uh, somebody was having the same problem, and uh, let me let me show you what I found. So if we move to the back, I already put this wheel on, but let me move to the passenger side. So what some guy on the forum mentioned was, uh, he said to try to engage the parking brake, raise up the rear of the vehicle, and uh, try to spin the wheels by hand. And you know, if the parking brake is engaged. You shouldn't be able to turn uh, either wheel by hand uh, so i went ahead and did that and i found that this wheel on the rear passenger side was still spinning even though the parking brake was engaged so on the forum uh, what the guy mentioned was that you know they kind of went through the same thing they replaced the master cylinder it did not fix the problem uh, they replaced actually on <laughs> on the forum i was reading they also replaced the abs hydraulic unit didn't fix the problem so it kind of matched you know the exact story that i have here anyways what the guy ended up finding was that on the rear calipers uh this piston whenever you go to replace these brake pads uh you have to spin it you know you have to turn it in order to compress this piston back into the caliper uh, so i took the wheel off and the first thing i noticed was that these brake pads were brand new so it looks like the customer replaced the brake pads um and so in order to do that you know they had to use this tool uh to uh, move this piston inward so uh, what the forum talked about was there being an excessive gap between the piston and the brake pad uh, when the pedal's not depressed so I came back here I looked at it and sure enough there was uh, an excessive amount of gap here which was causing a delay in the braking of the rear caliper here so um, what the guys in the forum say is that uh, if you remove this caliper and just use the tool and kind of back it out a little bit and get it to where the piston is just barely touching the uh, brake pad you know not that the brake pads are being uh, engaged or forced you know just enough to where it's resting on the pad and when you go to press the brake pedal it doesn't have to move much in order to engage the brake pad so um, I already did that I removed this I spun this piston out uh, and I made sure that there was really no gap between the pad and the uh, piston and now that like if I try to you know move this there's not excessive play in the caliper so anyways after doing that sure enough the brake pedal feels amazing everything's back to normal and uh, we're ready to ship this vehicle I just wanted to share this video um, in case anyone else is running into the same problem because this did throw us for a loop um, you know, and I don't know. I mean, maybe this video might help somebody out who's having the same situation I really hope it does and if it does, please uh, You know hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you have any questions 
please comment down below. Thank you guys for watching the video and I hope to see you in the next one.